least no more than five hours to, you know, text back. But it's all good, though. She just responded back now. And I didn't open a DM yet. You know what I'm saying? We gonna see. We gonna see what Miss Lissette said. And I think I may literally have a chance to not only collab, but take it further. Here's a DM, guys. We open it up right now. You guys will see. We're just gonna pretend you haven't talked shit about me. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? Right. I never met this girl in my life. <laughs> I never met this girl in my life. What are you talking about? Everything's for entertainment. Everything for entertainment. Never met you. How could I know who you really are? Simple. You know what I'm saying? That's how you just got to run game sometimes on these females, bro. But hopefully, you know, by the time this video is up, she... I can't hear you. Are you, in, are you in that hotel or that Airbnb? Oh, uh, the Airbnb. I, um, I send that Eddie when I hop off the phone. Because I, I, the Airbnb, I, I don't think I have the Eddie in it. So, I'm going to pull up to the B&B. She just texted me the address. Not about to obviously show you that, so you guys can do some weird stuff. You know what I'm saying? Because I still care about her to that extent. Believe it, please. But, you know, let her go pull up. It says 26 minutes. Damn, there's some construction, too. I hate when they got construction work going on because sometimes, most of the time, when they be having construction in places, them niggas don't even be working. They just block off the road, cause more traffic. But I'm about to head that way, man. All right, flight crew. So we just pulled up to um, Diamond uh, Airbnb. I'm going to let them know that I'm outside. You know what I'm saying? Uh... Damn, now I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of feeling nervous about it just a tad bit. But at the same time, no regrets or no turnarounds. You know, it's nighttime, you know what I'm saying? I'm on the side street, so hopefully, you know, like, you know, cars is coming my way. I don't wreck myself. I'm down to wreck myself. But these females need to learn, man. I'm about to text her right now that I'm here. You know what I'm saying? Tell her this that I'm right here. All right, I just texted her. I'm here. Come outside. All right. So I'm going to wait for her to slide my way. You know what I'm saying? Then she better come up. I'm trying to have this cam insurance on her. What's good, girl? What you want? Hey. Bitch, you got me bent. You got me bent. Stay with Siante, bitch. Stay with Siante, little girl. You got me bent. That girl got me. What's up, YouTube? What's up, Red Nation? It's your boy LB back once again with another YouTube video. In this video, I basically want to talk about this situation that's going on between Flight Riaz, DDG, Megan McQueen, Pudi, Chark, and the other people. I know the people who from Raider Nation might not know who I'm talking about, but it's a different type of video that I'm doing and I feel like I need to speak on because these people are reaction channels and DDG is a rapper and he also do YouTube and he's somewhat like a reaction channel. He do react to videos. So I just watched this video of this man, uh, this guy, little boy named, he ain't no little boy, but he 23, but he act like a little boy. Like he a little boy in the mind. So, this guy always, always playing the victim. Always playing the victim. And his fans are little kids. Like, it's like, what do you expect from little kids? Like, these kids support everything he do. 
these kids listen and believe everything he say and do. Like, they are so gullible. So, this guy, Flight Reacts. So, the main situation, conflict, and this uh, problem between him, McQueen, DG, all that, is Flight React is mad that Megan McQueen is not allowing him. Let me reword that. Flight React is mad because Megan McQueen won't allow Flight to date and talk to his little sister. Megan McQueen know what type of guy Flight React is, but Flight React don't see his own BS. Flight React sees things one way and he sees things his way. He don't see things from both point of views, like both perspectives. Like he only sees things his way, one way. And you know how people never see wrong in themselves? That well, that's flight reacts. He never see wrong in himself in himself. He always trying to point the finger at the females when he's the problem. Like, how can you say you want a female, but you show feelings for every female you collab with? You you do a video with one female, you show feelings and affection. You say I want to be with you, I want to date you. Then the next day you do a, fe a video with another female and say, I'm down, you pretty, you fine, you this, you that, I wanna be with you, I wanna date you, I wanna go out with you. Then you do a another video <coughs> with another female YouTuber. I wanna be with you, I like you, you showing you showing affection, you showing fella towards that female. Then he'll go another female the, the following month, I like you, I wanna date you, I wanna be with you, yeah, kinda of talk to you, kinda of get your number baby girl. Like, you unstable, you see so lost and confused. And ain't nobody calling him out on his bullshit. His friends, they around his age. They don't know anything. Like, his mindset, his mindset is jacked up. He lost and confused. <clears throat> so, so he feels some type of way when females call him out on his BS. Because there ain't no female going to be with a guy, talk to a guy, date a guy, or go on a date with a guy who is unstable. Cause you can't tell no female that you want to talk to her and she is not going to allow you to talk to her and you all here talk to other females. Ain't no female going to allow that. And how can you want to be with Megan McQueen's sister and you still showing feelings and affection for DDG cousin and you and Megan McQueen are homeboys. You Megan McQueen and DDG homeboys. So he ain't looking at it this way. He making his own stuff look bad but DDG and Megan McQueen ain't calling him off on this bullshit. What they are saying, they are wording it wrong. Because you got two homeboys. You got one homeboy that has a sister. You got another homeboy that have a cousin. You have feelings for both of their family members. You got feelings for DDG cousin. And you want to be with uh, Megan McQueen's sister. You want to date with Megan McQueen's sister. How could it make you look? It make you look desperate and sappy and sad and lonely. Desperate, sappy, sad and lonely. That make you look bad, flight. That make you look bad. Then inside your phone, you have a uh, DDG cousin name your phone with a uh, an emoji with a heart ass, with two heart ass. You get an emoji with two heart ass. So basically, you like her and you want to be with her and talk to her. So that's a sign of affection and feelings. So now. You come to Megan McQueen's sister. You in a video doing a dirty truth for Dale, like y'all together, y'all not together. And you mad at DJ cousin because DJ cousin went to go talk to somebody else, I guess. But how can you be mad at DJ cousin when you and DJ cousin was never together? Y'all was never boyfriend girlfriend, y'all never husband wife. So you mad about her going to see another guy? When you in videos showing affection and feelings to other females, ain't no female you say you want is going to allow that. Cause ain't no female going to put up with what you're doing. Come on now, flight. That's Ray Mitchell. I guess with Chalk girlfriend, Diamond, Meg McQueen's sister, and now, uh, huh? That's Ray Mitchell. Megan McQueen's sister, DDG cousin, 
uh, chalk girlfriend. That's, that's too many. That's too many. You making yourself look bad. Like, come on now. You gotta get it together, flight. You gotta get it together. You unstable. You desperate. You lonely. Like you vulnerable. But you want to talk about time. But you always want to talk about somebody moving on fast. But when you get out of uh, that Ari situation, didn't you go with? Did you go with Ty within two, three months of when you just broke up with um, Ty, um, Ari? And I'm gonna call you on your bullshit too in the Ari situation because in the Ari situation and all your videos, you wanted her to be in your videos, so you can't call her a clout chase. You wanted to do, do those collabs. You told her to make that YouTube channel. You told her to do her thing, whatever. And what else did you do? And both of y'all, you and Ari stated that y'all were just friends. Y'all wasn't boyfriend, girlfriend. Y'all wasn't together. You stated that in a lot of your videos. So just out of nowhere, you how do you present to the world that you and her was together, but when you was in your videos, both of y'all said y'all were never together. Like which one y'all see y'all understand you, you contradict yourself too much. And you make yourself look bad, then when people call y'all on your bullshit, you play victim. You cannot do that. Like, come on now. You really make yourself look bad. Then you are not a man. You are a little boy. Because if you want to pick up a girl on a date, if you want to pick up a woman on a date and it's nighttime and it's late and it's dark, you do not sit your ass in the car and wait for her to come to the car. You do not text her that you hear come outside because it's nighttime and it's too dangerous. You go to her door, knock on the door, wait till she come to the door. When she come to the door, you she gonna open the door and step outside and you say, let's go. Then you walk with her to the car to protect her. Then once you get to the car, you open her door first to make sure she gets in first and make sure she's safe. You don't sit in the car. You don't sit in the car and wait. You go get her and walk her to the car and you open her door and you let her in. Then you get in the car. That's what a real man do. But you're not a real man, you're a little boy. Real men don't look for revenge on women. Like, come on now. You make yourself look bad. You look, you're a little boy. And you wonder why I don't know a woman wants you. Come on now, Flight. It's all you. It's you. You cannot blame any woman for your BS. You're not a man. You're not a man, Flight. You're a little boy. You are a little boy. Remember that, Flight. You're a little boy. And if you see this video, I don't care. I don't know what elf, what your response is. Because you can't beat me, Flight. You can't beat me. Like, you're just a little boy. So. Once again, flight, you gotta get it together. You gotta look in the mirror and get your shit together. You can't point the finger at McQueen, DDG, all your other friends, and the other people. It's you, it's your BS, it's your BS, cause you're not a man. Maybe McQueen have a point. He can protect his sister. Everything you were saying about McQueen, about how he just is wrong, about saying that you can't date a sister. That's BS. He he got the right to protect his sister. Because if he see BS bullshit, he got the right to step in and say something. Because as the man in the house, I guess, whatever, I don't know if they're following their life or what or what, but as the man and the son and the brother, he have the right to step up and say something. Because you are toxic. You're not a man. You're a little boy. And you don't need to be in a relationship. You don't need to be talking to no female. Because look at the stuff you do. Look at the stuff you're doing. Like, that's retarded. Look at the stuff you are doing. Like, you want to be with multiple females. Ain't no female going to be with you if you want to be with 10 other females. Like, come on now. Be serious. Be real with yourself. But, all right, y'all. I'm all. Tell me what you think, Raider Nation. Tell me what you think, YouTube. FCC. Tell me what y'all think. But, alright, I'm out. Peace.